All right, we are back with Rob Bowden this morning. He's representing the Beloit International Film Festival, BIF for short, yeah. correct? And this is the ninth year that you guys have been doing this, and this year you have 120 entries, correct? 120 films. We had over 700 submit. That's fantastic. Now, you'll have to forgive me. I don't normally associate Beloit with a film festival like this. How did this come about? Well, it's just it's a burgeoning arts community. It's a city of 35,000 people, but... You know, we're an hour from Milwaukee, we're an hour and a half from Chicago, we've got uh, Rockford just 15 minutes south of us and Janesville just north, and it's, uh, it's an area where creative people have the opportunity to create a synergism to make wonderful creative projects. Yeah, and some of them are from our community, including a Milwaukee man who's starring in one of the features that's called Date Night. We have a clip. You are doing this thing called Date America where you're stopping through eight different cities across the country, dating in all of those cities, and ultimately trying to find the one. It's uh, exploration of not only online dating, but are women differ in different cities that they're trying to figure out? Are they? I'm open for anything. If you really find someone that you love and you're, you think is really cool, you'll do anything. To come off the trapeze, we're going to teach everybody how to do a backflip. I'm scared of heights. Oh, I mean, it scared the hell out of me. That was the scariest thing I've done. I misspoke. It's Date America, starring uh, Bob Murray, who's from Milwaukee. It looks like a fun movie. This is one of my favorite of the 120 films in the story. A 34-year-old guy, can't find love, decides to do some online dating. And the movie chronicles his journey from Milwaukee down to St. Louis and across Route 66 to Los Angeles to try and find the love of his life. And we just heard yesterday that he is coming to the festival with his new bride. Oh, wow. That's perfect. And all of this coincides with Valentine's Day, correct? So yes, we open up on Valentine's Day, the 14th, and we run through the 23rd. Some great movies to watch, including the next one. It's called B-Side. We also have a clip of that one. I guess singers should never really say they're retiring, just in case they run out of money and decide to trade on their name again. <laughs> but my name's probably not going to be worth much in a few years. <laughs> April saw, even in the realm of bubblegum pop, she's like the equivalent of that old guy who would hand out fruit to trick-or-treaters on Halloween, you know? You want a lollipop and the guy gives you an orange? What was that all about? That was actually April Simon. Huh. I just insulted someone who was actually listening to my show, and it was somebody rich and famous and powerful. You make her sound like Stalin. Very cool. You know what? The production values of these movies are outstanding. I mean, they look like Hollywood features, but they're something that you can't find in a Hollywood production. They really are. And, and the thing that you can't find is, is the, the great dialogue and the great acting, you know, of the great golden era of, of Hollywood movies, the 40s and the 50s, you know, that you don't have huge special effects, but these movies are just a wonderful experience. Uh, B-Side is a great romantic comedy, great interaction, fantastic soundtrack. Well, we're seeing. Cool. And you can go see it, right? Tell us a little bit about uh, if people are interested in going to the BIF. Well, you can go to BloitFilmFest.org, and there are trailers of all of the movies at the festival. You can buy tickets there. It's interesting. You come for a weekend in Beloit, and it's really so inexpensive. My brother-in-law is from Chicago, and he comes up every year, and he goes, Oh, my God, when he gets his uh, hotel bill or his restaurant bill, I can't believe how cheap it is. It's a great getaway weekend. It really is. And for a couple hundred bucks, you can come and you can watch a slew of movies, wonderful movies. You can't beat it. You can't beat it, especially if you're a movie fan. Well, thank you so much, Rod. We appreciate it. We're looking forward to Biff. Thank you. Thank you.